This is like years in the making, like my dream come true. Yeah. Can't stop smiling. Let's do this. All right. Hi, I'm Jameson Michael from Believe in the Run, and this here is the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. So starting off with the upper, you got a one-piece jacquard upper. Well, first off, you're gonna have to define jacquard to me because I don't really know what that is. I'm not sure what jacquard means, but it sounds fancy. And of course, it's a one-piece booty construction. I have to say booty, I can't say one piece because he requires me to say the booty construction. It's in the contract. What I will tell you is the upper fits great. This mesh, it's unilateral, so it's different than shoe. I don't even know if that's the right word. But does it feel good? It feels good. What I like about it is that the vamp over the toes here, plenty of room for my toes, but I have a narrow foot. What about you? What about your foot? Now, you know your boy has a wide foot. The people know your boy Jamie has a wide foot. And I'm happy to say, it fits. It fits nice, it, it adapts. It's not sloppy though. It's not when those like, it stretches too much, we're all over the place, all loosey goosey. No, it's tight in the right places. And you'll notice if you look at the shoe on both sides, it's got a different weave for each foot. So it's actually molded for the left and right foot. And the side here, I thought this stitching really did a nice job keeping your foot in. I was a little worried. I don't really like knit uppers that often. And this one did a nice job of holding the foot down. These, these laces have a little bit of give to them, I thought, and gives you a little bit of elasticity. And it really held my foot in nicely. What do you think, Jay? So last year, I tried the Fuel Cell Impulse. My main complaint was that my foot was falling out to the side. Like it felt good, but it just wasn't working for me. And I thought I was gonna have the same thing with this one, but nah, they fixed it. New Balance, they listened to the people. They gave the people what they want, and I appreciate that. My foot wasn't falling off. And can we get to the base of the shoe? We can, but why don't, why don't we just say about the booty construction, it's easy to slip that heel Can you not in. say booty? And I'm gonna say booty. That big old booty. And the heel lift, no heel lift in this. I thought the upper on this actually fit about as good as any upper I've tried this year. But yes, the fit is nice, it's adaptable, narrow foot, wide foot, work for both of us. So I would say on a scale of one to 10, the upper is just like a solid 8.5 to me. Yeah. What is nice about the upper is this shoe is meant to go fast. And so you need an upper that can keep you over the midsole. And speaking of the midsole, what do you think of this fuel cell midsole? Now this is the bread and butter of the entire shoe. It is smooth, so smooth, I can't believe it's not butter. Hmm. Could be margarine. I know one thing, there's no peabacks in it. A lot of people were talking about peabacks or if it had a plate in it. This is all fuel cell. But what's neat that New Balance told us is they're able with this EVA foam to create different densities and really put in areas here where you're gonna get a little more firmness, they can switch it up so that your toe off feels a little smoother. And I have to tell you, I love this midsole. Now I know the term energy return, return. is mm. a buzzword. Everyone says it, everyone uses it. I felt it in this one. Yeah. Well, apparently it's 39% more energy return than the Rev Light material they use in their other running shoes. So if you're looking at like the tier of how they tier the shoes, it's fuel cell, rev light, and fresh foam. And then you get down to the crystal rubber, plenary traction here. I guess the most thing that people wanna know about though is this wing off the lateral side. It's kind of wedged out to kind of fit the foot strike. What they saw was that was what was happening. So they wanted to give her a little more contact on this outer edge so that she could power through that stride. It worked for me, so. It worked for me too, yeah. so. And this shoe is designed for that runner that's gonna be up on their toes. So it's a little bit better for a forefront to midfoot runner. But I don't know, Jamie, what's your strike like? Do you have a... Uh... Um, my strike uh, coming from the comments is everywhere. Every video I'm like, he's a forefoot striker, he's on his toes, that's midfoot, he heel strike. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna see where they put the rubber. It's missing from back here and only a little bit on the heel just for durability. So it slides off. This shoe is really meant for you to go faster, but the wonderful thing about it, I liked it for my slow, easy runs too. What do you mean your slow, easy runs? How fast are you? Not that fast. Can we get to some, to some negatives? Yeah. Because you know, the power of positivity is great and all, but sometimes you gotta keep it real with the people. All right, what were your negatives with this shoe? The outsole. Outsole? Yeah, it's durable. What's wrong with the outsole? Have you ran in the rain yet? Mm-mm. Don't. 
So yesterday I ran in the rain. It was fine. On was, wood, brick, everything. I was flipping. Flipping? I was flipping. I was on dirt, though. Tripping or flipping? Flipping, slipping, tripping. He's tripping. So you're a new shore runner. I'm a new shore runner. But do we have anyone in the house who, dare I say, overpronates? Can we have an opinion on someone, anybody? Does it matter if they're from Austin or not? They could be from Austin. Okay. They, could, they could be in the other videos. We're gonna have to mic her up. Let's mic her up. So Vinny Ray, welcome. Thank you. Um, so you are someone who overpronates, someone who wears stability shoes. This is not a stability shoe. So do you have any insight, any thoughts about this shoe as far as how much have you tried the shoe? Do you like the shoe? What would you use it for? Can you use it? Does your ankle blow up? My ankle does not blow up. It hasn't blown up yet. Um, I like it when I'm running faster. If I'm like walking or running slower, I feel like it kind of makes me over pronate a little bit more. But I don't notice it as much as I'm like going fast. So once the speed's going, you kind of flow with the stride. Yeah. But if it's like, but like more. Like I'm going slower, like an easier run or like walking around, I feel like I'm just like going like in. Well, I like how you're going in, but I can't see your foot. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm doing the motion. Going All right. In. Going in. How about the shoe itself as far as how it looks? I love the way it looks. I think it looks awesome. Bro, we got your colorway. We got the all white ones. Yeah. Bro, these are fire. They really are. Um, and I think, like, I love the way it feels. Everything except for the fact that, like, it kind of makes me go in. Work. Like, it feels super comfortable otherwise. So, Vinny Ray, thank you for your input on the overpronation. Well, um, you can leave. Hey guys, this is Jarrett from Believe in the Run. Um, I'm super salty today because Thomas and Jamie uh, decided to record their fuel cell video without me. Um, so I've kind of been forgotten about. Uh, this is the Fuel Cell Rebel in 2E wide. Um, and this is everything that someone with a wide foot like me could ever want in a shoe. It's extremely fast, it's extremely light. Um, Flexible. It's got some nice flex to it. This upper, this booty fit upper is uh, like nothing I've ever run in before because I can't fit in these shoes with uppers like this. So um, if you've got wide feet, this shoe works. Um, and all you other companies out there, if you'd like to cater to us, we wouldn't be offended. And now I'm going to throw the shoe at the camera. I hope you like it. Well, that was our review on the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. Be sure to subscribe to the Believe in the Run YouTube channel. Follow them on Facebook and on Instagram. They got a lot of followers. So, yeah, go and make it 20,000 followers yet? Oh, yeah. 20,000 followers. 20,000 followers. Woo! Why would you? You really count, don't you? Yeah. You really count. Yeah, but yeah, we're young. Man. So, he's making me say this, but be sure to follow the Facebook group, Believe in the Run on Facebook, YouTube.com. Subscribe to the channel. You're already here, probably, or on Facebook in the video and Instagram, Believe in the Run, on Instagram. And now it's time for me to throw the shoe. All right, we got my way. Oh, don't hit it. Ooh. Okay, that, that's the one. We're going with that one. <laughs> I can't afford to fix this camera, so if it broke, I'm sorry. All right. We should leave. So anyway, have you guys tried this shoe? Do you guys like this shoe? I mean, it's out in stores. You can go to link down below, runningwarehouse.com. They'll be on sale. Get you a pair. The white one, I kind of prefer the white, but. I got the black one. <laughs> okay, well, I, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm an elite jogger, so. Okay, I'm maybe a little faster than an elite jogger. Okay, well, it felt great for an elite jogger. Okay. It might be, actually, I'm probably fit right into elite jogging. Really? Yeah. You want, a, you want a t shirt? I can get you one. Yeah, let's do that. Or let's just make our own. Booty construction. I have to say booty. I can't say one piece because he requires me to say the booty construction. It's in the contract. It's in the contract. We're getting paid for this. Big bucks. Subscribe to the channel. Jimmy Review. Sorry, Mr. Jackson. I am for real. All right. <laughs> this is like right there with React. The shoe reminds me of 
is the Razor 3 from Skechers. No, you can't say that. Yeah. That good, people. Hey, the fit is good. The cushioning is good. The outsole is good, except for, for Jamie, because he runs in the rain, slips all over the place, but for me, good. I'm clumsy, though. Yeah. I got the hat. That's perfect. I had that perfect. <laughs> Hi, I'm James Michael, and this is Believe in the Run. Yeah. That was close. That all was right. close. All right, okay. You get, try, it, try it like this. The shoe? Hi, I'm Jameson Michael, and this oh, the is Believe in the Run, and we're talking about the fuel cell. Oh, rebel. man. I can't Boom, see. Boom, let's right, do okay, it. Okay, okay. Try it again.